Okay, I've been learning this new song. It's called Eagles Fly by the Bay, uh, by the Bay City Rollers. And the chord progressions are very simple, and you can find them in tabs. But if you know the key, which is E minor, you can figure it out pretty quickly, right? So uh, mostly it goes like E minor, C major, and then it, it throws in a little, and that's a D major, right? So B minor, D major. And it does switch around a little bit, and it goes from like E minor for the chorus to D. Which is actually very powerful, and I really enjoy it. But anyway, um, after learning all of that, I'm like, okay, I want to record the song. So how does it start out, though? Because there's an intro. And the intro didn't make any sense to me. And I kept going like, well, is it a B minor? Is it B minor C, B minor C, and then the song starts? And I couldn't figure it out because it sounded really boring. And I was like, the, the introduction actually always sounded really big and really warm. And I couldn't figure out what the hell was going on. And I sat back. And of course, I have my Circle of Fifths poster in front of me because I'm a novice. And the E minor is there. And right above it, obviously, is the G because that's the relative major. And I was like, yeah, it's kind of interesting that he doesn't actually play a G in that song. And then I stopped. And I was like, oh my god, really? starts with a G. He starts in major. And then he works his way down to E minor and then he keeps you there I think for the rest of the song and I'm learning the rest of it. But anyway, this, this song and the entire album, Rock and Roll Love Letter, every song on there except one was written by the Bay City Rollers and only, only the song that they didn't write uh, was a huge chart hit which was uh rock and roll love letter which is a great song but um they have so many other great songs on on that album and i'm going to try and learn all of them um and but previous to that the actual album is called wouldn't you like it in the uk and rock and roll love letter took wouldn't you like it and then some other great tunes that they wrote that were not um, already published in North America put them on there and created this album that is one of the greatest Brit pop albums of all time um, Wouldn't You Like It is also a great album it's just that there's some, some weaker moments on it where they're kind of sounding a little bit like the Beatles and uh, I think that they when they weren't sounding like the Beatles they sounded a lot better actually I'm, I'm sure the record label wanted them to sound like the Beatles who, I mean who wouldn't want you to do that um, well I shouldn't say they sound like the Beatles, but they sounded like Beatles and older British pop music, right? But anyway, hats off to to Eric or Woody, whoever did it, who said we're going to start with a G major chord in our E minor song, and it's going to add that oomph to it, and I think it's fucking great. And this is a great song to play if you're a novice guitarist like me. Anyway, have a good night, and hopefully I'll have a cover of this sometime soon.